Hi everybody, we want to learn how to do uh, Unistrut P1001 and turn it into analytical. Make it act like a beam. So we're going to go right here, we're going to go with our new family type template. And we'll go down in here, we'll say, we'll use structural framing beams and braces. Then we'll slip OK. Now, once we're in here, we'll see that we've got some elements to work with. So, what I like to do first is go to that left view. And then right over here, I want to go and I want to insert my AutoCAD drawing. I want to import in my AutoCAD drawing. And that would be the P1000 analytical. And I'll say open. And there it is. So now what we do now is we want to create an extrusion. And then it's asking us to pick a plane. So let's say OK here. And let's just pick this plane right now. And now let's do our pick lines and start uh, adding our profile into our extrusion. So let's just pick here. Just go right around. Like we're doing everything else. We do, I do a lot of copy from AutoCAD. I mean, if it's done right in AutoCAD, it doesn't hurt to do this. We'll pick here. Pick this one. Just right on around, and that should just about do it. So now I'm going to scroll down and take a look, but I want to hit my green check mark and see if I did it. No errors, good. So now let's go into our reference level and have a look at what's going on here. So we want to match this extrusion with our new uh, channel. So let's go and let's, 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 uh, align this side. Let's make sure we select the Unistrut. And then we'll do the same here. And lock it. And we want to lock this one as well. Now let's go look in our 3D view. We got some stuff to clean up here. So now we can get rid of our extrusion. I hit modify out of that and select it. And I want to just delete it. And then here, we've got this pinned in. And we want to delete that as well. So there we have it. That's our analytical unit strip now. Um, I think I want to now want to open up a structural template. Uh, let's go new project, and we'll go grab our structural template here. Click OK. Oh, sorry, should have had one open already for you guys. Okay, now here. We go in our structural template, and let's just let's just place some grid lines out here to make life simple for us. Let's just do say one here. Make this nice and small. Say six feet do do as well. And we'll do one across here this way. And let's go just here. So now while well, we have our little grids here, let's go in and let's place some beams. Well, let's place some columns here. So let's select the column command. We'll place columns at grids, and this one is fine, this default one. And let's just go select everything here and click Finish. So there are nice columns here. Let's look at this in our 3D view. So we have three columns here. 
So let's go back into our family that we created, our uh, analytical unit strut. So let's take this guy and load it into the project. Now, once we get it in here, into this uh, project, what we need to do is go to structure, and let's go ahead, beam. See, there's our family that we just created, and there's all its properties right here. So, we we'll have 3D snapping on, and let's just go and place our one of our beams, so we, our unit structure. So we can hit this point, and this point. And there's our unit strut. Let's take this point here. Well, we could have did chain. Let me do if I could do a chain here. Let's go from this point to this point. And I pick up that one. Well, we didn't chain like I wanted, and then we pick one up there. So basically, that's how we do this. So let's go and expand this drawing here, if I can. I got two projects open here. I'm gonna. And there's our plan view of that. And so then we can also run a brace through here. So we can go in the structure bracing and we can take this same unistrut and just run it straight across here like that. Now see what happened there? I went from the top to the bottom. That's okay. And now also I want to show you these properties. So right here you have your your start level your end level offsets. These are offsets from the from the line. So we can change these, say, if I want to jump this one up to six feet. It goes up six feet. It acts just like a beam, basically. And then we want to do our origin. So we're using the origin for our justification. We can go right, left, center. And then we can go here, other justifications, independent. And then here we use the top so we can go and say bottom if we need to. So that's basically how you do this, folks. Uh, very simple and straightforward. We just took a unistrut channel and created it into a beam. So this would be an analytical model. So if I went here, just pull this out for us all here. Yeah. And I want to turn this 3D view off here. I'm going to turn this off just so we can see this and span this out a little bigger. So now we're in our 3D um, view, and uh, I made this bracing from here to here. So we can make these, um, see that when we threw it up six feet. So let's drop it back down to zero. So basically this unit strut is acting just like a beam and that's what we want. And then we can go and look in our analytical model here. And there you have it. So uh, then we go to VV. And we can the analytical models, analytical model categories. We're in the electrical, so let's go down to structure. And we want to uh, turn on nodes here. Click apply. OK. So there's how you take a piece of unit strut and turn it into an analytical model. So hey, everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, See me on my next video, and if you got any suggestions or know how to get holes in these, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you again, and have a good day. And uh, please like this video and subscribe if you like. It helps me out a lot. Bye.